that even though there's issues in this particular situation for you, you see potential and you have hope that something can turn around here. You do. In the heart of your reading, you have hope that this situation can change. Spirit, tell me more about the alchemist in reverse, please. Tell me more about the alchemist in reverse, please. Yeah, look, the Wheel of Fortune, right? Wanting a turning point to the Nine of Pentacles to bring a culmination to all of the misalignments that's happening in this situation, whatever the root cause is, okay? Justice, right? The root cause. You want honesty, truth, fairness, and accountability for what Ever this situation is for you, but it is a situation that is a blockage for you to move forward. It's absolutely a blockage for you to move forward. Hmm. Interesting. To the Ace of Cups, and you have a lot of feelings invested here. You have a lot of feelings invested, and you would like the situation to renew in such a way where your feelings can be validated, vindicated, and um, refreshed in the situation. The star. Hey Virgo, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. How the heck are ya? It has been a good long minute since I have thrown down a reading for Virgo, and we're going to see what the cards have to say for you today. If you are new to the channel, I am Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana. All right, so let's see what's going on with Virgo. It's been a minute, Virgo. It has been a good long minute. I'm excited to do your reading, though. I truly, truly am. I truly am. If you like what you see here and you want to stick around a little bit, it is imperative that you subscribe to the channel and hit the dinghy bell. Not because I'm a subscriber chaser, because I'm not. If I was, I'd be doing all 12 zodiac signs three times a month, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> I cater to Taurus and Pisces mostly. I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So most of my stuff is out of self-interest, right? I'm cater to Pisces and Taurus. Um, how However, I will occasionally uh, drop a reading for some other random sign, and in this case, it's Virgo. So, if you like what you see here, you might want to subscribe and hit the bell because I'm not here often. And if you don't get notified of when I post, we'll probably never see each other again, okay? All right, let's see what's going on for Virgo. I have done the third grade swirl on these cards. You'll be able to see them up there. Um... Damn it, I should have scooted over a little bit so you guys can see that a little bit better. Um, hold on a second. Let me try to adjust myself real quick. Hold on. There we go. That works a little bit better because the, the video of the cards is going to be right up here, right? So I've already done the third grade shuffle and swirled them all around and everything like that. And um, I'm just going to shuffle a couple more times and we're going to throw down some cards and see what Spirit has to say for Virgo today, okay? So I hope everybody is well. I hope that life is treating everybody um, good. Um, I know there's ups and downs and sad things and good things, but I hope that y'all are getting a good, a good portion of um, good things. <laughs> I hope that you're getting a good portion of good things. All right, this is how, gonna, this is how it's going to work. I am going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll throw down about 15 cards. We'll talk about them as I clarify them, and I will sew together a story, okay? We'll most likely go back to the top and read it fluidly all the way through, unless the story works itself out as I'm clarifying. It just all depends, right? I never know. I cannot dictate what these cards have to say, okay? All right. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Virgo with me. And Spirit, Virgo wants to know what you know. What do you know about Virgo? And what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo, whoa, what does Virgo need to look forward to? What does Virgo need to look out for? <laughs> oh, they want to talk. They're hot. And most importantly, how does Virgo navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, we all understand that a general reading is a blanket. It's a blanket that covers everybody, but everybody is touched by it differently. People that people watching this video understand that this is not their personal reading. This is just a general overview of the general theme that could be happening in somebody's life. 
everybody here understands the only way to know their real story is to have their real cards read. So please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the collective of Virgo the messages that they need to know and understand. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is that Virgo's that what it is you have to say about Virgo. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle just a couple more times. I'll cut three times and I'll begin to pull from the top. Please continue to arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Virgo the messages they need to know. I think that feels good right there. All right, let's do this. Ready? One, two, three. All right, and we're going to go. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, four of wands in reverse. This is about instability, a lack of structure, a lack of harmony in a relationship. All right. First card out, the king of wands. This is somebody. We'll see. Death, an ending, a change, a transformation. The two of swords, you are at some type of crossroads in this situation. Make sure y'all can see that. I know it's not perfect, but it's the best I can do. The Ace of Wands in reverse, um, delays, frustration, lacking motivation. The Two of Cups in reverse, an imbalanced relationship. The Hierophant, commitment or the way that you believe about something. The Queen of Wands in reverse, this is somebody whose needs are not being met in a particular situation. This is a card also sometimes about somebody being real nasty mean. Okay, The Alchemist in reverse reverse uh, an inability to manifest sometimes it's a po about potential sometimes it is about manipulation the star in reverse um, not your purpose despair a lack of faith the four of swords in reverse contemplating um, restless mind contemplating right thinking thinking overthinking um, sometimes it's about a lack of progress seven of pentacles in reverse a lack of success or reward this card is oftentimes about if i keep doing what i've always done i'm always going to get what i've always gotten right to the prince of wands some kind of inspired action the fool in reverse reckless foolish the world in reverse, a blockage to closing one cycle of your life out and beginning a new cycle. The sun um, in reverse. This is, you know, maybe not seeing something clearly. Perhaps this is about not having a lot of optimism. Perhaps it's about not being as happy as you ought to be. Temperance, healing, patience, purpose. The nine of wands in reverse, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, giving up. The Eight of Wands, movement, action, swift change, possibly communication. Three of Wands in reverse, obstacles to the long-term goals. Five of Pentacles, leaving out in the cold. Judgment in reverse, a bad decision to the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. Woo, and the Devil in reverse to the King of and the Seven of Wands. Okay, see the story starts to repeat right there, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Yeah, see, all we're getting is repeating cards right here, right? That's all we're getting. But let's go ahead and take it so y'all can see, okay? Five of Cups, Lost, Regret, Despair, Disappointment, The Lovers in Reverse, to the Ten of Swords. All right, Virgo, what is happening here with you? What's going on? Some kind of relationship ending or business deal of some sort? Let's see. Mm. Oolong milk tea. Love it. If you don't like it, hard left. All right. King of Wands. Who is this character right here? Is this the culprit? Yes. Look. Clarified by the world in reverse. This person or this... this Let's just call it a person for now. This could very well be about career or success of some kind, okay? But this is a blockage in your life with the world in reverse. Um, the universe is trying to fold over a new cycle here. And this situation, this this person or your pursuit of success somehow is being blocked. Either this person is a blockage in your life or your pursuit of success is being blocked, okay? And we'll figure it out as we go. 
the Three of Swords. There's grief. A lot of people think that this card is about heartbreak, but it's not. It's about grief and sorrow. It's Swords energy. It's about communication and your mental, okay? So there is some grief and some kind of sorrow in your head about this situation. The Five of Swords in reverse talks about a lot of resentment to the Seven of Wands in reverse. Overwhelming, giving up, okay? Death, an ending, change, transformation in your life. Four of Swords, contemplating exactly what it is you're going to do to bring this about. Two of Swords at a crossroads to the Four of Wands in reverse because there's not enough harmony or stability in this situation. The Lovers in reverse. There is a severe misalignment of values between the two of you. And this could still not be talking just about love, okay? Lovers in reverse is a misalignment of values in some kind of significant relationship. This could be friends, family, work, boss, job, lovers. It could be anything in your life. This is a general reading. I have no clue who or what I'm reading for, okay? So there is a severe misalignment of values that is causing or has caused instability in the relationship. This misalignment of values has caused a lack of motivation and it has caused some kind of departure. Yep, look, 10 of swords, right? I'm sorry, nine of swords. Nine of Swords, this is lots of despair. To the Six of Swords, about a regretful but necessary transition away from this situation. The Ace of Wands in reverse again, twice there, a lack of motivation, frustration, um, delays, just, just like raw, just forget it. This Ace of Wands in reverse is the root of that Nine of Swords right there. The Emperor in reverse, this is somebody that feels out of control and therefore they're being overly controlling to the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, this is, again, more frustration and delays. It's not taking any inspired action. Perhaps your frustration in the situation is that this person, this King of Wands over here, um, didn't turn out to be exactly what you thought they were going to be. Perhaps you thought that they were going to be your Emperor and really turned out not to be your Emperor. This is somebody, I think, that is grasping at straws. This is somebody that is very insecure about themselves, okay? But we can read this two ways because this is a general reading, right? So I could be talking to anybody about anything, okay? This emperor in reverse is somebody that is also out of control and therefore overly controlling. And perhaps that's you, Virgo. Perhaps you feel out of control about this situation. So the only way you feel you can have control of the situation is to end this relationship. It just depends, right? The Hierophant. This was some kind of commitment. Um, some kind of commitment, either in, uh, it, you know what, I don't even have to go through all the different kinds of commitment. The Hierophant is a card that's rooted in the word commitment, whether you want to talk about career, school, family, money, business, whatever is rooted in the word commitment. That is that is the heart of this word, right, of this card right here, right? It's the heart of this card. This card is also about your belief system, what you believe about things to the Queen of Cups. So commitment or, or a belief system that is really deep in your feels, really deep in your feels, Virgo, real deep in your feels. Yep, look, three of wands in reverse, but it's obstacles to your long-term goals because it's obviously not working out for your best interest. The Queen of Wands in reverse, I'm certain that this card is about um, your needs not being met in a situation. And I feel a little bit of saltiness here too, right? Just a little bit of sting, a little bit of saltiness in this Queen of Wands in reverse. To the Alchemist in reverse, what is this saying? An inability to manifest potential? What is the Alchemist in reverse saying? The Ten of Wands in reverse, Virgo. This is you saying that even though there's issues in this particular situation for you, you see potential and you have hope that something can turn around here. You do. In the heart of your reading, you have hope that this situation can change. Spirit, tell me more about the alchemist in reverse, please. 
Tell me more about the alchemist in reverse, please. Yeah, look, the Wheel of Fortune, right? Wanting a turning point to the Nine of Pentacles to bring a culmination to all of the misalignments that's happening in this situation, whatever the root cause is, okay? Justice, right? The root cause. You want honesty, truth, fairness, and accountability for what Ever this situation is for you, but it is a situation that is a blockage for you to move forward. It's absolutely a blockage for you to move forward. Hmm. Interesting. To the Ace of Cups, and you have a lot of feelings invested here. You have a lot of feelings invested, and you would like the situation to renew in such a way where your feelings can be validated, vindicated, and um, refreshed in the situation. The star in reverse. Now, see, if this was your personal reading, the way I would be reading these cards is I would be um, telling you, see, the major arcana to me is, um, well, for, factually, not just to me, they are karmic lessons and life lessons, okay? And when the major arcana come out in your personal reading, that is spirit speaking directly to you. That is your lesson for you to grab onto in your personal reading, right? So the way this is all looking to me is spirit is saying, if this were to be for you and you alone, which it is not, with a channel with 80,000 subscribers, this is like giving a reading to a small auditorium. If 2,000 people show up to watch this, which they may or may not. I mean, Taurus and Pisces have, you know, 25, 28, 60,000 people that watch their readings. So that being said, this is a small auditorium full of people. So I cannot tell you what your spiritual message is. But up to this point, if I were to do that, Spirit says with the world in reverse, there is a blockage in your life that needs to be addressed. What's the blockage? The blockage is this King of Wands. It's either someone in your life that is causing you grief or your pursuit of your achievement of success um, is being blocked. Why? Well, because there is some kind of misalignment of values in a very significant relationship, whether that's family, home, love, work, friends, whatever that is for you, there is some kind of massive misalignment of values. Spirit comes in with major arcana death and says it needs to stop. There needs to be an ending to this situation. Lovers in reverse. Why? Because there is a huge break. You guys aren't on the same page. There's a misalignment of values. You are not on the same page. Hence the queen of wands in reverse, right? Your needs are not being met. That's the misalignment of values right here. Um, the emperor in reverse. This is major arcana. This is spirit saying somebody is not stepping up to the plate the way that they should be. This could also be spirit saying that you are overly controlling of the situation and need to take a step back. Okay, to the Hierophant, this belief system that you have right here, this commitment that you have, Queen of Cups, your feelings about the situation, um, to the Three of Wands in reverse, obstacles to the long-term goals, right? You would like this situation, as indicated by the cards in the center of your reading, to come back around full circle so you can reinvest your feelings in the situation. The Alchemist in reverse is telling you um, that it is, it, it, it's, it's not to be manifested. I'm sorry, but that's what this card is saying. If this is your personal reading, we're talking straight to straight, straight to straight, face to face, you and I, this card would be interpret, interpreted as, as an inability to manifest. Why? Because it's a life lesson, a spiritual lesson. You're not being allowed to manifest this for some reason, probably because it's no good for you. Okay. But with a general reading right here, clarified by these other cards, this is saying that you see potential. Ten of Swords in reverse. You are saying, Virgo, that you would like this situation to be resurrected. Spirit is saying this is going to come to an inevitable ending one way or another. So this might be your open door, right? The Wheel of Fortune. Virgo wants a turning point in the situation. Spirit says there's going to be a turning point in the situation to the Nine of Pentacles, but you need to bring it to a culmination first. You need to end it with the Death card First, Virgo is saying, I want to bring this to a culmination so we can have a turning point. Justice, 
Virgo is saying, I want justice in the situation, truth, honesty, fairness, and accountability. Spirit is saying justice will happen, Ace of Cups, when you have an emotional rebirth about what this situation truly is. <sighs> okay. I need to check the time. I'm supposed to pick someone up at the airport. All right, I think we're good. Okay, the star in reverse. Major Arcana, Spirit saying this is not your purpose. The star in reverse is Virgo's despair over the situation. To the four of swords in reverse, in your head, restlessly thinking about the lack of progress and how perhaps you could change it. Seven of Pentacles comes in and talks about a lack of success or reward. But Seven of Pentacles is also talking about if you keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always had. What is that? The Ten of Wands in reverse. Overwhelming burden. A struggle that should not be. If this is a love relationship, love should not struggle like this. Hence, the misalignment of values. Yeah, look, the Prince of Wands. This is uh, possibly communication coming into you from your person. Um, inspired action to the Six of Cups to, to, to reunite or reconcile some differences. This could be saying that this is about family, home, nostalgia, memories, children, your current environment. But there's definitely some inspired action being taken with the Six of Cups. I do believe this King of Wands, whether it's your pursuit of success or not, is coming back around again. And look at that. This is clarified by the Tower in Reverse. This is a card about averting disaster. What this card is saying in the generic is that this, your person, your situation here is coming back around to reconcile some kind of differences, the tower in reverse. Perhaps they've had a personal transformation. What the tower in reverse is saying to you is avert disaster. The fool in reverse follows it. That's how I know that this is what this card is saying. Major Arcana, the fool in reverse, speaking straight to you, saying you are foolish. If you re-engage in this relationship, spirit calling you out. You are foolish if you re-engage in this. To the world in reverse, this is your blockage. Are you going to choose to engage or not? If you choose to engage, the blockage will remain. And you will continue to perpetually spin in the bullshit that is going on right here. If you choose to close this out, this wheel, of this world in reverse will turn upright and you will be able to close out some cycle of your life and move into a new cycle of your life. And it's followed by the sun in reverse. This is you not seeing clearly. You're not seeing clearly that your needs cannot be met in this situation. And your idea of commitment and this other situation, this, this other half of this reading's idea of commitment is not on the same page. You see how this could be for career or love, any kind of love, agape love, any kind of love or career right? Spirit is saying you are foolish to re-engage in this. It is a blockage to your life and you are not seeing things clearly with the sun in reverse right here. What are these extra cards? Well, let's see. Oftentimes they're just a narrative of the same, of the same message. Temperance, your purpose, your purpose. Let's just clarify your purpose right there. Spirit, tell me about temperance. Is this healing or is this purpose? Look, Two of swords in reverse, coming out of ambiguity. Your purpose is not in this particular situation, Virgo. And you need to clear the air and understand what spirit is saying here to you so you can come out of ambiguity and make the decisions that need to be made for your own best interest. Page of Pentacles, right? Manifesting a new opportunity, new, different, new opportunity, right? This opportunity, this situation is not meant to be taken into your future, hence the star in reverse. Look, eight of wands in reverse. Cease and desist. No forward movement. The moon in reverse. Deal with your repressed fucking emotions. To the three of pentacles. About the teamwork and collaboration. Yeah, y'all might get along good. 
Y'all might be, get along good. There might be teamwork and collaboration. You, you have good laughs. You have a good time. You work well together. But what Spirit is saying here is that there is no opportunity for this to move any further than it already has. This situation is stagnant. And Spirit's advice for you is to leave. Nine of Wands in reverse, right? hesitant, paranoid, defensive. You should be. Eight of Wands, movement, action, and change. Get the hell out of Dodge. Two, the Three of Wands in reverse, obstacles to your long-term goals. What is this saying as well? Well, it's saying this whole thing is obstacles to your long-term goals, but it's particularly talking about some communication that's coming into you, right? Where Spirit says avert disaster, avoid the situation, but this person's saying there's been a transformation, right? It's obstacles. This communication that's coming into you is obstacles to your long-term goals, and you need to get the hell out of Dodge with the Eight of Wands. Five of Pentacles, leave it out in the cold. Judgment in reverse, it's a bad decision, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles, embrace your self-sufficiency and your independence. Bring the situation to a culmination, to the emperor. This emperor is you, okay? Don't give a shit about your zodiac sign. This emperor is you, just as this emperor being a general reading, I read it both ways, as you. This emperor is about you taking control of your life. This emperor up here is about you being out of control of your life. This emperor is you taking control of your life by averting disaster. Don't be foolish. S fix the blockage. See things clearly. Do not interact Take control of your life. The devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? The king of cups. That there can be real, genuine, heartfelt love in the situation. Because there is a misalignment of values. This person's idea of commitment does not match yours. This king of cups is also saying general reading. We could read it five different ways. General reading, release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? That this person loves you. What are your limiting beliefs? That your love can be enough for this person. That your love can change this person. The devil upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. In the reverse, it's about releasing that. King of Cups, if you release it, you will move into a place of emotional control and emotional maturity. Seven of Wands in reverse, give up on it. Five of Cups, the only thing that it offers you is loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Lovers in reverse, because there is a fundamental misalignment of values between the two of you. To the Ten of Swords, that has ended in a painful ending, that will end in a painful ending. If you keep engaging with this, we will meet right back here in a couple months because it will hurt you again. It will deceive you and betray you again. Whatever this is for you is not meant for your future and you will keep going through the Ten of Swords over and over and over again until you understand that. And that was your reading, Virgo. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you would like your cards read by me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.